Hi, it's Denise Roberts from Sales Partners and I'm back here in the training lab and today's tip that we're going to work on is creating a killer self-introduction. One that takes people from, eh, I'm not really interested in what you have to say to, wow, tell me more. All right, so to do that, I've got, I'm going to pull a couple of volunteers from the audience. So, uh, Mark, you had your hand up. Come on up, Mark. All right, Mark. So, uh, Mark, you are Mark, what, what's your last name? Anderson. Mark Anderson, and tell me who you work for. I work for a company called Hub Financial Services. Okay, so I meet you for the first time at a networking event, and I say, I see you work for Hub, Mark. What is it you do? Hub, we're actually a large insurance brokerage firm. We specialize in a various different insurance fields and practices across the country. I work with our financial institution division, so we work with a lot of different banks on a number of different insurance programs. Okay, great. All right, so let's pause right there, and let's turn to the audience. By show of hands, how many of you are interested or compelled to want to know more? Mark, how think, many hands are up? I think they're kind of bored. <laughs> I didn't really excite it, did I? No. Well, that's okay. That's how it always is. Okay, I know. All right, so Mark, I'm going to take you through a six-step formula, and then we're going to see if it, if it changes. Okay. okay. All right, so if you look at the formula, we've got six parts to it. First of all, and we're going to do this piece by piece. So you're with Hub. How long has Hub been around? We've been working for over four, nearly 40 years. 40 years. Okay, good. And roughly how many companies have you worked with in your target market? Your target nearly, market you said nearly 600 financial institutions, okay. both bank and credit union. Okay, all right. And then tell me now what problem you solve. A number of them, but one in particular that's near and dear to me is that we generate non-interest fee income or cash in the pocket of the bank. It goes right to the bottom line of the institution. Okay, now... If you look at what's next, it says a wow story, okay. right? Mm -hmm. So a wow story has a before working with you and then has an after working with you. So can you think of a particular bank or a credit union that you've had some big impact with? Okay. What comes um, to mind? Yeah, one comes to mind last year. We had a bank that generated, oh, nearly $50,000 of, of revenue, okay. cash, okay. Uh, on one of the particular products at the bank. We've developed a strategy and implemented the strategy, trained all of their staff, okay. migrated some of their customers, and now they're generating over $850,000. Well, that's pretty wow. Each year, that's big. That's yeah. a big wow. Yeah, to go from 50,000. It's a big jump. 50 to 850,000. It's a big jump. Ongoingly. Right. Right? Yeah. Okay, now there's a, one last point. What's it say? Ask a closing question. So what would you want to ask me? Well, I'm gonna make an assumption we're at a cocktail reception thing for banks. So okay. I assume that you're working at a bank. I would ask you, Denise, you know, who in your bank do I need to contact or uh, engage with that we can tell them more about this strategy to see if it would be something that would be, be of interest to your bank? Okay, awesome, good work. Good. All right, now let's ask the audience by a show of hands. How many want to know more now? How many hands went up? They all went up. Yeah, very good, good it's, job. That's the difference between okay. that. Okay, good. got it? Got it, good work. thank you, awesome. All right, thank you. All right. Bye-bye. All right, so that was Mark. I'm also gonna take one more person. All right, I'd like someone that's in different industry. Okay, I see a hand over here, and it's Emily, right? Yes, Emily. Okay, come on up, Emily. Emily. All right, so Emily, I don't, you don't have a name tag on, so tell me what is it that you do? So I work for myself, a company that I started four years ago that's called US Art Boutique. U.S. Art Boutique, okay. Yes. So what do you, what does U.S. Art Boutique, because that doesn't tell me a lot, right? Yes, well, I work with about 20 local artists and I represent them and uh, organize events throughout the city of Detroit. Okay, so let me stop you there. All mm -hmm. right, so if you, if Emily met you for the first time and told you that, how many would be compelled to want to know more? Well, I got a couple of, yeah, all right, she's beautiful and she's got a great French accent. Of course we want to know more. But other than that, it's not real compelling yet, is it? No, mm -hmm. not yet. Okay, all right, so we're going to take you through the same formula, okay. okay? All right, so you started to tell me, so for... For the past four years. Four years. Mm -hmm. How many people, all right, so you represent artists, yes. right? So um, how many, is it how many artists or how many people have you worked with? How many people I've worked with? I've, okay. I've worked with about uh, more than uh, hundreds of people. Hundreds? Yes. Okay, so you've worked with hundreds of people. Mm -hmm. Okay, now are they just individuals? Are they? Uh, I've worked with individuals, with businesses, and obviously artists as well. Okay, mm -hmm. so for the past four years, I've worked with hundreds of artists. 
business people and individuals. And individuals. Yes. Okay. So now, tell me what problem do you solve? Um, I would say that I help them experience art in a different way. Okay. So it's about using art as a tool to, to connect and exchange. Okay. okay. So you use all right now. Think of a story mm -hmm. of somebody that you might have worked with. We're going to do the mm -hmm. same thing with you, a before and after story, all right, that, that solved the problem you just said. Okay. Right? Okay, that they experience art in a different way. Okay, do you have a story? Do you have something uh, that comes to Yes, mind? I have a client in particular that okay, comes to mind. Okay, good. Tell us about that. Uh, so it's a, it's a woman who did not consider herself at all as an art lover bef before being introduced to U.S. Art Boutique. Okay. And today, she never misses one of my events. She started a, a private art collection on her own, and she even asked me to organize a private art party for more than 50 of her clients and uh, friends. Okay, so let me make sure I get this straight. She mm -hmm. went from never being really interested in art yes. to now she is an art collector, yes. never misses one of your events, yes. and introduced 50 of her own businesses, friends, clients, or whatever to art exactly. as well. Yes. I call that a wow. Yes, that's pretty good. Yes. <laughs> All right, great. And then if you were to ask me a closing question, what would you want to ask me? Uh, I would like to ask you if you know of anyone interested in using arts, to, um, to, in, in leveraging arts in their professional and their personal lives. Very good. Mm -hmm. All right, now let's turn to the audience. Now that you've just heard that, how many are interested in wanting to know more? All right, Emily, you saw more hands yes, up? Yes. yes, big difference. All right, well, thank you, Emily. Thank you very much. It's just that easy, right? Yes. Okay, yes. very good. All right. So again, just to wrap this all up, those are some simple tips of to how to say what you do in a way that's compelling. Most of us just introduce ourselves as I'm a lawyer, I'm a banker, fill in the blank. But to tell the story, if you remember this, the key important piece is the wow story, the before and after. That's what connects the dots. All right, we'll see you again in the future. That was this week's tip. Take care, bye-bye.